Okay, what we're going to do is take a look at potential kinetic and mechanical energy, um, also known as PKM. This is a great way to remember uh, the three types of energy. Potential is the first, K, kinetic is the second, and mechanical is the third. And um, just like in class, remind, remember this by please kick me or Peter kick me or please kiss me. Um, Whichever way you want to remember it, um, make sure that you understand it in that order. Okay, so the first type of energy that we talked about was potential energy. And potential energy is get ready energy. That's the energy that something has when it's just getting ready to, uh, to go. So get ready energy. And an example of potential energy uh, that we used in class um, was a roller coaster. And when the car is sitting up on top of the roller coaster, then it's got potential energy. And the reason it has potential energy is because it's getting ready to move down the slope and it's almost like it's all wound up and as soon as it gets to just that one point then the potential energy will be transferred. Okay, so the next type of energy that we want to talk about is kinetic energy and kinetic energy is the energy of motion and that is when something is moving or in motion, okay? So it's the energy of motion. And let's use our roller coaster rider here. Once the roller coaster rider gets to this point, then they actually are moving, okay? And they're moving very quickly down the roller coaster. And this energy of movement is kinetic energy. And the kinetic energy comes from the potential energy. All of the energy that's stored up in um, the roller coaster rider at the top of the hill gets transferred to the movement or the motion of the roller coaster. So the more potential energy, the more kinetic energy. And just like we talked about in class, let's say uh, one of our friends comes to visit us while we're riding down the roller coaster, our kinetic energy will transfer to our friend that's visiting us on the roller coaster through mechanical energy. And our friend here has potential energy, and when we transfer our uh, mechanical energy to our friend, our friend will take a nice swirly trip through the air. So that energy that gets transferred to our friend is mechanical energy. And in order to have mechanical energy, we must have potential energy and kinetic energy. And what we said in class is potential plus kinetic because we absolutely need these two in order to have mechanical. So potential energy plus kinetic energy equals mechanical energy. And if we take away kinetic, then we cannot have mechanical. If we take away potential, then we cannot have mechanical. So just to review, PKM is potential, kinetic, and mechanical. The potential energy or the get ready energy gets transferred to kinetic energy. And in order to have our final type of energy, the mechanical energy, the one that allows us to move things, we need to have these two. So these two are necessary in order to have this one.